Welcome to Sailing Buena Isla. We're sailboat liveaboards, living the minimalistic lifestyle while traveling to new places by water. Come and join the adventure. In today's video, we're gonna actually be showing you how we caught our first crab. We're really excited about that. We're pretty proud of ourselves because like, again, we don't have much fishing experience. So we were really excited about that. So we're gonna show you how we caught it. We're also gonna show you that we ate it and everything. We're also gonna show you how we've been making bacon and eggs for breakfast in the morning on a very small little kitchenette in our boat. So um, just kind of shows that you can eat really good food in a small space. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Hey guys, okay, so we're gonna put in the crab uh, trap in the ocean now. And since we're really new at this, we have no idea what we're gonna find, but we're gonna just put it over here by our boat. You can either put it right behind us or we're gonna put it on the other side today. Um, and so we're gonna leave it for the day, then we're gonna go to work. And when we come back, we'll see if we caught anything. Basically what you need to do is just get a crab trap and then get some fish guts, like um, chicken back, something really cheap, some cheap meat or some fish eggs. And then you stick it in that pocket inside the trap and that way you uh, lure the crabs to come in and then you just pull it up and see what you caught. Here in the Souk Basin, there's a lot of crabs pretty close by. You don't have to go too far, but let's go do that. So here we have the crab uh, traps that we can use to catch crabs. And um, these are just what stick at the top of the water so you can see where your crab uh, trap is. And then inside there is where you'd put your bait. So we're gonna get this filled and then we're gonna leave it in the water for the day. Look, we got some crab! Some crab. We caught some crab. Look at that huge knuckle. This is our first time. How long did we have this in the water for like a day? Yeah. Oh wow. I wanna eat some. We're gonna set the fire. Cool. He doesn't want to be eaten. Yeah. Legal size. So we just uh, caught our first crab ever, which is really exciting. And actually three came out, which is really amazing. Um, but we only can keep one because you have a size um, limit, right? That you can legally keep one. So we threw the other ones back. But um, it's actually funny because one of them just fell out when we took out the water. And then this one that we actually took, it was holding on for dear life with its claws. <laughs> like it didn't, it doesn't want to be eaten. I kind of feel bad, but I love crab, so. Yeah, but now we're just gonna rinse it off and then you boil it and then we'll have butter with it and it's gonna be so good. Making some butter to dip the crab in. Now we're gonna eat some of the crab. I'm really excited to try it. do is um, um, usually I think you're supposed to go like this and you grab it right here. Okay. The legs right here. If it's dungeness and then go like this and then the legs break off. Mm -hmm. The awesome thing about being able to catch your own uh, seafood is that you can really live off the anchor and uh, not have to go into town very often. So if you have a fishing license, you can catch up to a certain amount of fish per day. And um, when it comes to crab, it's based on the size. You have to have this uh, measuring tool that will show you how big your crab is and what the legal size is to keep it and the rest you have to throw back in the ocean. But it's just really cool to know that you can really be self-sufficient on this little sailboat with solar panels for electricity and then catching your own food so it's really exciting um, that we're getting to start this process all right that looks good here's a fork you want to try it first no you want me to go first i want him to be the guinea pig there's butter here
Damn! What do you think? Mm. It's good? Mm -hmm. First impressions are good. Oh wow! Mm. How is it? Oh good. There we go. I like it. I approve. Crab right from the ocean. Hi, Bailey. I can see you. I can see you. Come sit beside me. Come sit beside me. Come. Come on. You're not supposed to be jumping like that. Come on. Want to make some breakfast? So we're going to make some uh, breakfast on a boat. And as you can see, we have very small space to keep things. Uh, we keep a lot of our dry food up here, but um, anything that needs to be refrigerated goes in here. As you can see, this is my hand. So it's a very small fridge, but it works. And... Uh, Currently we got some jam and some mayo. But this is some of our eggs, liquid eggs, dressing, we got some juice, blueberries, cheese, um, salami, eggs, more jam from our friend Catherine. She gave us some really good homemade jam. And then inside of here, oh that's our freezer. Shut that. That's our freezer. That's our freezer, people. So in here I had some bacon. So uh because I want to eat it now. We needed to defrost it a little bit. So right now, this is our bacon and it's uh, defrosting here in the sun. Hey guys, so we're gonna make bacon and eggs now on a sailboat, <laughs> cooking with Katya. <laughs> so let's light it up. This is a propane stove though. There we go. Not too hot because we don't want an oil burn. Like medium, right? Probably good. We'll put our pan, the only pan we have. Put it on there. Let it heat up a bit. There you go. Warm the hands. You now if you're cold. <laughs> All right. Now we're gonna make some bacon. I'm not really a fan of touching uh, meat, but uh, here we go. Ready? One. Do you want all of it or half of it, Christian? Half. I think we can only cook like a couple pieces at a time. We only have so much space. <laughs> okay, that's good for now. So we're gonna cook that and we're gonna make the eggs. So what are we making now? We're making some scrambled eggs. Are you making the French style or the normal style? Uh, this time I'll do the normal style. Why? Uh, the French style didn't come out too good. Uh, <laughs> it was kind of watery. I didn't like it. And uh, a little bit barf worthy. Barf worthy? Yeah. No offense to the French. I think we did it wrong. <laughs> I think that's the problem. Here's some toast. And we got some fresh... Uh, Apples or pears? I think these are... Oh no, these are peaches. Peaches. Our friend Catherine uh, makes them. So we got some fresh fruit. And then we're going to have it all together. That's a lot of eggs. I know. I think we're going to not need to eat for the rest of the day. <laughs> the cholesterol's going to go off. Oh, my doctor won't be happy. Hey, dear. Right. This is how you make eggs on a boat with one, with one pan. <laughs> I mean, you could have more pans, but they were limited on space, okay? So... <laughs> yep, this is our bacon and eggs. And toast. Wow, it's pretty good. With some uh, peach and cinnamon. And this is our toast and... 
I'll try some of this. Mm, tastes like apple pie. Is it bacon? Actually, actually really good. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> okay, we're gonna eat. Bye. Hey guys, so we just got off work um, in Victoria and now we're back at our sailboat. And um, I'm just gonna sit out here and enjoy the sun because it's really beautiful out. It's about 22 degrees Celsius and it's like fully blue sky, no clouds. So it's perfect weather to do a little bit of sun tanning. Um, yes, I'm wearing some sunscreen because that's very important, but it's nice to be out here and get some vitamin D and Bailey's gonna sit out here with me. She loves being outside with me. And I think tomorrow night, we're gonna actually go over to someone else's sailboat for some drinks and chips. They invited us over. It's another couple over here that um, live on a sailboat as well. So it's really cool getting to know other people who do what we do. So that's gonna be really fun. I think they're pretty new to sailing as well. So I'm sure we'll have a lot to talk about of all the crazy adventures that we've found ourselves in so far. But yeah, it's so nice out here. I'm very thankful. There's currently a lightning storm outside. Oh, I just caught that. Okay, that was freaky. Can you catch that? I know. We had a nice sunset and now it's a storm. Okay.